Hi and happy Monday. Hi, I'm Janet Leonard. I'm the founder and CEO of Virtual Instructor. And for those of you that have been following my Monday Live, sorry about last week, I was in Atlanta at a conference and was hoping to get a Monday Live done, but obviously I didn't. And I did get a slight cold, so that's why I sound a little weird. But uh, other than that, it was a great conference. So nice to be back on Monday Lives with you. Uh, today, we're going to cover a really fun and easy topic is drawing tables in Word, which you can also then use what I'm going to show you um, if you're in PowerPoint and also Outlook. So let's pop over. First things first, I'll do a little bit of housekeeping. And if you like my Monday Lives, most of the time I sound a lot better than this, um, you can go to our homepage, which is virtualinstructor.com and go to Monday Live Calendar of Topics. And when you click on that, it will show you the topics. And there are, if you want to be reminded one hour before the talk on Mondays, that's the only time I send you out an email, um, then you can just fill in your name and email address and you'll get an email reminder an hour before I, I go live on Mondays. So what I did was I moved the topic that I was planning on covering last week to June 27th. So uh, if you've been using Zoom and you've been wanting to be able to create videos, I'll show you some little tricks on how to use Zoom and make it look like you're not reading something, even if you do need to kind of read something or you just want to make sure you're looking at the camera properly. And then next week, if you've ever opened up a file, whether it's it doesn't matter what program it is, but we'll focus primarily on the Microsoft products. But have you ever opened up a file and it was kind of final and it was really close to what you wanted for the next project? So you bring it up fully intending on doing a save as you make all your changes and you accidentally hit that save command. That is a terrible feeling. So I'm going to show you some little tricks on how to avoid doing that. So there's a bunch of little tricks most people don't know about on how you can open a file different ways so that you can make it much more difficult or near impossible to save over that file. So I'm going to show you lots of different ways on that. All right, enough of that. We're going to pop into Microsoft Word. So I have Word up here on the screen. And um, if you want to follow along, and we're just going to be with a blank document, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the insert tab and then you have table. And if you click on the drop down, there's most people make tables by highlighting this stuff. But if you continue on down, there's this thing that's called draw a table. So if you click on it and then you move your mouse pointer into your document, you'll notice like a little pencil because you're now in the drawing mode. So what I'll do is I'll hold down the mouse button and I'm just gonna start out with a square. You can start out with square rectangle, it doesn't matter. Now, as soon as you start working with a table, just like regular tables, Microsoft Word automatically gives you two more tabs up on the ribbon. So you have the table layout, excuse me, the table design and layout. Now this layout is different than the layout that's normally there. But while we're on the layout tab, which is the default it brings up, and you see my little pencil, if you look over toward the right, you'll see there's a button called draw pencil or draw table and eraser. Now, if I click on draw table, it puts me back as a cursor. If I click on draw table again, now I'm back with the little pencil so I can draw more things. So I'm just going to draw, let's say I decide I like a column here. Maybe I think I want a little row here. And maybe I'll put another column here and maybe I'll put another row here. So you just draw wherever you want your rows to be. Now, you can also change the color of what you're drawing if you go up to the table design tab. And right now, the color of the pen is black. So if I want to change it, I'll make it red so it really stands out. Let's see. I decide I want this to be red. I just draw on top of it and now it's red. And I can also make that line thicker if I go back over to the table design. And in this borders area, this is where I picked the color that I wanted the border to be. And then if I click this drop down, I can choose different shapes. And then this one determines how thick it is. So I'll make it really, really thick so you can see. Then I'll just click and draw over it. And now I was able to change that. So we'll talk about how to erase it in a second. Now, if you decided you wanted to type something in here, then you have to go back and turn off the table, the draw table. And now you're back in a cursor. So I'm just going to click over in this first column 
And maybe I'd like to have it say golf tips. So I'll just type in golf, whoops, golf tips. And then um, it might be kind of nice to have it where it's actually vertically centered in here. So all I have to do is I'm selecting my text. And actually, as long as I'm just in here, if you notice, there is a button and I'm on the layout tab that has to do with the table. It's called text direction. So watch as I click, see how it changes the text direction. So I kind of like this text direction, but I think I'd like it to be centered horizontally and vertically. So in the alignment area, I can click over here and I can click on the center it um, both vertically and, and horizontally. And then I'll just go back over to the home tab. Maybe I'll just make this a bit bigger. And maybe I want to make this, this area blue with white text. So I can go back over to the design. And then while I'm in this cell, they've got a, a little bucket of paint. And if I click on the lower portion, I can choose whatever color I want for that cell. While I still have the text selected, I can just pop back over to home and I'll change the font color to white and maybe I'll make it bold. And look how cute that looks. And then maybe I decide, you know what, I don't really want this, this border here after all. So what I can do is go back over to that layout tab. And remember, if you hit the wrong one, maybe I went to design and I'm thinking, where's that eraser? Don't panic, just go to the other one. So you got a 50-50 chance at it. So I'll click on eraser and now watch what happens. If I move on to a border and I click on it, it erases it. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the eraser. So it's back to just a regular cursor. So both of these are just toggle buttons. You turn them on once and you click on them and you turn them off again. So I'm inside this cell and it might be kind of nice to put a picture in here. So I could just go up to insert and I'll just go to pictures and I'm just going to go to the stock images. So I'll just click on stock images and Here's something that has to do with golf. Now, if I didn't see what I wanted, I could just type in golf right now, whatever it is that I want to search for. And it gives me a whole bunch of different golf things. But I think I like this one. So I'll click on it and choose insert. And now I get this cute picture. Now, the picture is a little bit too big. So all I'm just going to do is resize it so it fits nicely in there. And then just to show you some other things that you can do, what if you thought, you know what, it might be kind of nice to have a little table inside this cell so that we could write, I don't know, little notes or little tips and things like that. So you move into whatever cell you want and you can actually insert a table inside a table. Now you can draw it or you can go with more of the standard one. So this time I'll go with more of the standard table and I'll just highlight however many I think I want. And then here's a little trick for you. I'm going to make this take up this whole area. So I'm going to move on to the little bottom row. And when I get that little horizontal line with double with arrows on either side, all I have to do is click and hold and I can make this taller. Now, in this case, I'd really like to have the column spread out and the row spread out. And you know what? I kind of changed my mind on this, this border here. So all I have to do is go back to erase. And I'll choose the eraser and I erase that border. I'll turn off the eraser and I think I'll make this bigger. So you can see right now, both the columns and the rows are not evenly, um, they're not the same size, right? They're not distributed evenly. So as long as I have this little table selected and I can tell because see that tiny little square in the upper right corner or upper left corner, I should say. As long as I've clicked on that, that means I've selected this table. Then up on the layout tab, you see two options, distribute rows and distribute columns. So the first thing I'll do is just distribute the rows. See how it did that? And then I'll distribute the columns. And then that looks pretty slick, huh? Now, another thing you could do is maybe you decided, I kind of like this look. So remember, we just drew kind of the table we wanted. We put in a picture where we wanted, put another little table inside a cell. And then maybe I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool to have this first table not really have any borders. So I select that table, again, in the upper left corner, and I'll go up to table design, which is where the borders are. And then I'll just click on this drop down and I'll tell it, nope, I don't want any borders. And so now this is kind of a cool little table 
Uh, if you didn't know how to set this up, you might be thinking that's really hard, but it's super easy, especially if you just draw something, right? So the little trick I showed you works. You can draw tables in Outlook. You can draw tables like that in PowerPoint. So that hopefully that gave you some ideas of different ways that you can put, maybe make your tables a little more interesting. Now, the final thing I'll do is I'll just go up to file and let's just go to print. And now you can see in the print preview, that looks pretty slick, huh? Yeah. All right. So I'll just get out of there and we're back over into our table. So hopefully that gave you some ideas of different ways that you can put tables in. And just to refresh your memory, I went to the insert tab and I went down to table and I chose draw table. Okay, now there is another fun one. I'll just do a teeny bit more. I'm going to go to the end of the document. So I'm going to hold down the control key and tap the key with the word end on it. And then I'll just hit enter a couple times. Then if we go back to table, um, if you notice, there's something called quick tables and quick tables are tables. You can also make your own custom ones, but these are tables that Microsoft automatically included. So they're really kind of nice if you need little calendars. So I'll just scroll on down. And you also have some nice little um, tables with a column and row format that you can set up. So if you don't want to have to start from scratch, maybe I kind of like this one. So I'll just click on it. And I think I'll just put a page break, which is control enter. If you're on a Mac, it's command enter. And look how it automatically set this up. Now, I'm not stuck with any of this text. I could change it to whatever I wanted. But just to refresh your memory, back in the insert tables, you have quick tables. So that's just another way to quickly get some tables in there. And of course, you can use the draw. Maybe I think this would be pretty or different color. So I could go back over, make sure my cursor is somewhere inside the table. Go back to layout. Go to draw. And then I'll just go back to table design. And we'll just, we'll just stay with the red and this stuff that we've already got selected, right? Then all I have to do is draw over this and look how quickly I was able to change it. So hopefully that's going to give you some ideas of different ways that you can use this little feature. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And next Monday, I'm going to show you some tricks that um, you can use in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, when you are opening up a document or spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation, and maybe it's kind of final, but so close to something that you need to do, and you don't want to mess up the original, I'm going to show you some tricks to make sure that you, you don't accidentally save over the original. All righty, so I'll pop over here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and have fun drawing tables. Remember, you can do that in Outlook as well. Bye. See you next week.